The mission and vision of the John Paul II High School is to offer an opportunity for all students to receive a holistic education. Our purpose is to bring all of our students into a deeper love and knowledge of the person of Jesus Christ, that interpersonal relationship being of the utmost importance. Hello, my name is Blaise Anthony Hockle, and I am the headmaster of St. John Paul II High School. The mission of St. John Paul II High School is to act as an extension of the church by helping families lead their children towards a personal relationship with Jesus Christ through integrated intellectual and spiritual formation so that they might choose to become saints. What does the building of this high school mean for young families? On day one of high school, I entered into um, a public school setting with 1,600 students and immediately walking through the doors, it was a culture shock. But the biggest shock was no longer was there any emphasis on faith within the criteria. Um, it was purely academic. Uh, the social groups had to do more with hobbies than it had to do with community or fellowship or um, faith whatsoever. Um, it was overwhelming um, and, and it was unconducive to uh, strong community, to proper formation and um, faith development. So what I see is the main difference between my own experience and the John Paul II Academy is really combining those two things, right? That communal element uh, with my peers where I, I have them to lean on and, and go, you know, brave the storms of high school with while also having um, those teachers, those leaders who are investing in my life every day. I'm seeing them every day who um, are supporting and loving the students, but through the eyes of faith, right? And I, I had that in little bits and pieces here and there with both groups, but I think to combine that into one experience is something that I greatly desire um, for my own future kids some days, is to have that element present. I think we, we wanted a Catholic high school in Northern Colorado. I know uh, my parents have wanted one since I was a kid. Um, and so for me to finally have my own kids, um, to have that future for them, I think that's a dream come true for this whole area. And I'm excited about it. And it gives us, it gives us a, a chance to plan. You know, a couple of years ago, that wasn't really a, a reality for us. And I think now it's, it's, a, it's something we can more consider. Yeah, and then goals, you know, like to kind of plan for that for our kids, yeah. I think for people, when you're thinking about whether you're going to support um, support the high school, it's it's a question of partially how, how much do you want to invest in the culture? Um, how much do you want to invest in your children and, and, and the future uh, to really help them understand how to integrate their their faith into um, into their normal lives? Should you send them here? Yeah, I totally do it. Yeah, I actually teach you stuff here. It's small. <laughs> they can actually talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, individually, help you catch up if you're behind. I've learned a lot here. JV2 High School has um, helped me think my way through things, rather than just believing something's right and keeping it as like a principle, it's helped me think through them, other than just that's right all the time. But it's allowed me to reason why it's right. It's helped me think more critically. Um, I came here because I knew that I'd be getting a classical education as opposed to a public education, which is a lot better for me because it's understanding truth a lot better. And it's more thinking for truth than what people tell you to, as well as the close environment, because if we're so small, like everyone is really close. Well, I can tell you from student stories and also from um, stories of people I know that what they're learning in high school, especially public high school nowadays, is that truth is completely relative. That everything is in the eye of the beholder and all truth is decided subjectively rather than being rooted in any sort of reality or in any sort of God, any sort of value system outside of themselves. And I think that's how it's different at GP2 High School. 
My name is Liz Ye, and I'm the Executive Director of St. John Paul II High School. Why am I here? Well, I grew up in the area. I'm actually from Northern Colorado, and I remember my parents thinking that by the time my siblings and I were in high school, there would be a Catholic option. And they waited, and they waited, just like a lot of you have waited. And that's why I'm so overjoyed that we finally have a Catholic high school. Uh, my wife and I have been waiting for a Catholic high school for a long time. Margie and I are at the grandparent stage. Um, our children are now in their 40s. But when we were moving or making the decision to move to Colorado and specifically to Fort Collins, we almost didn't come because there was no secondary Catholic education in Northern Colorado. And uh, lo and behold, here we are in 2020 and we're getting it now, which is awesome news to us and it's an awesome event for Northern Colorado Catholics. But it can only help families if it is a real option. You see, Catholic high school tuition has become so astronomically high that it is really out of reach for most families. The generosity of individuals like you is what is going to make Catholic high school a real option for families. So we ask you to prayerfully consider joining us in this good work in building a beacon of light for Northern Colorado. Like Archbishop Aquila wrote in his letter of support, truly this high school will not become a reality unless the entire Church of Northern Colorado responds generously to the Lord's invitation. So I invite you now. What will you do? 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 To keep Catholic High School in Northern Colorado a reality.